Welcome to the Databricks Overview Training. In this training, we will cover the key functionalities and features of the Databricks platform. Upon completion of the Databricks Overview Training, you will be able to navigate the Databricks menu, create a notebook, attach a notebook to a cluster, and share a notebook. Databricks is a unified open analytics platform for building, deploying, sharing, and maintaining enterprise-grade data, analytics, and AI solutions at scale. Let's walk through the Databricks menu. If you've seen Databricks in the past, you probably noticed the user interface looks a little different. Databricks released a user interface update that changed the look of the landing page. Selecting the Disable UI button on the left side menu allows you to revert back to the previous user interface. The workspace organizes objects such as notebooks, libraries, experiments, queries, and dashboards into folders and provides access to data and computational resources. Recents shows your recently opened assets across product areas, including notebooks, queries, dashboards, and experiments. Search searches the names of all queries, dashboards, alerts, files, folders, notebooks, libraries, and repos in the workspace that you have access to. For example, if you want to search for a notebook you've labeled DBX Overview, you can find the notebook by typing the first few characters of the title into the search field. In the Data tab, you can find all the data and schemas you have access to. Workflow orchestrates data processing, machine learning, and analytics pipelines in the Databricks Lakehouse platform. Notebooks are at the core of the Databricks experience. They offer an interactive environment for data exploration, analysis, and collaboration. Inside a notebook, you can write and execute code cells, visualize data, and document your analysis in markdown format. Multiple programming languages are available such as Python, Scala, SQL, and R, allowing you to work with your preferred language. Compute displays the list of clusters that your organization has access to. Each cluster has a separate tab that contains information about the cluster's metadata. Currently, there are two clusters for each org, one named Compute Cluster and one named R Only. The Compute Cluster allows you to use Python and SQL, while the R Cluster allows you to use R and Scala to conduct your analysis. Clusters and jobs allow you to scale your data processing tasks efficiently. Clusters lets you manage compute resources to run your notebooks and jobs. Jobs allows you to schedule and automate workflows. Now you understand the Databricks menu, we'll walk through the steps to create a notebook. Attach a notebook to a cluster and then share the notebook. To create a new notebook, navigate to Workspace on your left side menu. Click Workspace, then click Users. Your username will appear. Right click on your username. Click Create Then Notebook. Name the notebook by clicking the title to edit or by clicking File and then Rename. When you create your notebook, you'll be given a choice of default language. To attach a notebook to a cluster, click the Compute Selector in the Notebook toolbar and select a cluster from the drop down menu. Menu shows a selection of clusters that you have used recently or that are currently running. Here you can select what cluster the notebook is going to default to when running the cells and operations. If you are using Python or SQL, select the Compute cluster. If you are using R or Scala, select the R cluster. Select the appropriate cluster and then click Attach. You can easily share notebooks and collaborate with your team members. Collaboration is the key to the success of any data project. You can also invite others to view or edit your notebooks. If you want to share the notebook with others, you can set various permissions for a user or group to read, 
run, edit, or manage your notebook. Congratulations! You have completed the Databricks overview training. You should now be able to navigate the Databricks menu, create a notebook, attach a notebook to a cluster, and share a notebook.